Here's the latest version of the easy to make DIY DC motor. Um, point out a few of the improvements I've been working on. The brushes. Um, I'm using glue stick to hold the uh, to hold the uh, brush down instead of winding it into those holes. That's working really well. You can see I put an extra bend there to make it more stable and give me a post there to solder off of. There's a plastic loop at the top which is used as a brush tensioner so that allows uh, the motor to turn very freely yet uh, the brushes are making very good contact very simple uh, easy to make. I added a flywheel, a gear and the base here has like a puzzle style um, pattern on it so it can plug into things like this gearbox I'm planning on uh, another gearbox and um, a rotary table and a few other things so let's uh, give it a whirl so we'll um, put power on it here and we'll give it a push and there it goes it's not usually so noisy sitting on a board here so let's try to, to add the gearbox to it so we come along here and simply press down on the gearbox and there it is chugging away you can see the upper shaft here so there's four stages of four to one here so that's going a quarter of the speed then that's going another quarter again the speed then a, another quarter and then finally uh, the fourth stage, so that's, uh, I guess that's 256 to 1. Uh, pretty steep. You can see the shaft goes uh, very slow here on the output. So that's very torquey, so that has 256 times as much torque, but it's going that same fraction slower. Um, all the gears on this shaft are all freewheeling. This gear is glued to that gear, that gear glued to that gear. This is freewheeling. The only thing that's fastened to the shaft is the final drive here. Well, and the, 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 the motor pinion is on the motor shaft and then this. The rest of this stuff is just little circles of uh, wood that thread onto the, um, the shaft and you can tighten them together like little locks to hold the whole thing together.